John and Carol Arnott, the founding pastors of Catch the Fire Church in Toronto, have been in ministry for over 35 years. They are most recognized for the massive move of God known as the Toronto Blessing. This revival spanned over a decade of time and welcomed more than 4 million people, impacting nations all around the world. You have to get rooted and grounded in love. And that was one of a, our big revelations that we received. So we learned about the Father's love. We learned about healing of the heart. And all this is on top of what we knew about being born again and the Word of God and baptism of the Spirit and healing and deliverance and stuff like that. But uh, the intimacy part was very much a key for us. We found out that you could have an experience, an encounter with God the Father, and of course, with the Holy Spirit. So through the 80s, we became much more Trinitarian in our uh, take on things. You know, it wasn't just everything with Jesus at one point, and you had the sense that that was correct, that was the right way to do it. But now we became much more Trinitarian, and uh, and so that rounded us out and filled us with a lot more love, I think. But it meant that love became the important thing because doctrines can change over time, you know, hopefully get more correct over time. But uh, if love is missing and, and it really isn't there, what have you got actually? Yeah. I see that for us a family model is a good model. So where all the children are not identical. They all have their own personalities and everything, but they're one family and they love each other and they therefore get along. And they kind of believe the same stuff, you know, the same foundational things. And the body of Christ is like that. You know, we believe in the Word of God. We believe that Jesus is the only Savior. We, we believe that heaven is our home. We believe the lost are really lost. But in the midst of all that, you can have different ministries and different callings and this and that. You know, it may be, it may be prayer, it might be worship, it might be preaching or teaching or missions or whatever it is. But we're all on the same team. And when you get the idea that uh, team members are supposed to be different as over against uniform and the same, it makes it, makes it a big difference. Like Carol and I, um, we're totally different in our giftings, mm. but we understand that one may put a thousand to flight, but two, ten thousand. There's this yeah. multiplication that happens. And so we love to just work together and just see that multiplication happen in greater effectiveness. And so th there's, there's a simple form of it. But then as you spread out with other ministries, you need to start appreciating them for their strengths and for what they bring to the table. And generally, they're gonna bring something yeah. that you're deficient in or lacking in, yeah. and you can learn from these, from these people. And you know, meeting Kenneth Copeland, for example, for us was, was amazing. Like it we, was. We, we just, he was just not on our radar anywhere. We no. weren't really interested in sort of the word of faith movement per se, although we totally believe in faith. But when we met him years ago uh, in Rome, as it turned out, we really, really liked oh, him. I mean, he was just, just like a super guy and full of wisdom and everything. And, oh. and we had to apologize, say, Kenneth, you know, I don't know why we, we just yeah. didn't avoid you intentionally, but we just never connected somehow. And we're really sorry about that because see, he brings an enormous gift to the whole body of Christ. He does. And teach you how to believe God and how to, yeah. how to have faith. I mean, so we want those, that diversity to bring strength to the whole. Yeah. So the old saying that the, the, the whole becomes, is greater actually than the sum of its parts. And so, yeah, I think there's room for everybody because Jesus is committed to building his church. Yeah.